Hi, in the previous video, we have seen how do we determine the sum of an arithmetic sequence. In this video, we will be doing some examples which deals with sum of an arithmetic sequence. So example 1, if the sum of first 14 terms of an AP is 1050 and its first term is 10, find the 20th term. So let us write down what is given to us. Sum of first 14 terms. So S of 14 is given as 1050. The first term is 10. First term is A1. That is 10. We have to find the 20th term. So A20 has to be determined. Okay. We know the formula for Sn. Sn is equal to n by 2 into 2A1 plus n minus 1 into D. Where D is the common difference and A1 is the first term. Okay, now when we do S of 14, we know that the number of terms are 14. We are trying to find the sum of the 14 terms. So let's just put 14 in the formula. So we get 14 over 2 times 2A1, A1 is 10 plus N minus 1 is 14 minus 1 times T. We will be using this equation to find out the value of T. As 14 value is given as 1050, so 1050 is equal to 14 over 2 gives us a 7, 2 into 10 is 20, plus 14 minus 1 is 13 times t. So we get 1050 divided by 7 as 20 plus 13d, which implies 20 plus 13d is equal to 150. 1050 divided by 7 gives a 150. So 13d is equal to 150 minus 20 which is 130 and we get D as 10. So we know the value of A1, we know the value of D and we need A20. A20 will be equal to, we know that first term plus 1 less than the position times T. This is the explicit formula to find the nth term. So A of 20 will be equal to A1 which is 10 plus 20 minus 1 is 19 times d is 10. So a20 comes as 10 plus 190 which gives us a 200 as the answer. Okay, I hope this example is clear to everyone. We first use, used s14 to determine the value of the common difference which came as 10. Since we know the common difference and the first term, we can find the 20th term which is 200. Now let us look at one more example. How many terms of the AP 24, 21, 18 and so on are needed to give the sum of 78? So let us write down the formula first. S of n is equal to n by 2 times 2a1 plus n minus 1 times t. To find the sum we need n which we don't know which is actually asked what are how many terms are needed so basically we have to find out n a1 is the first term of the series given as 24 and d is given as second term minus the first term which comes as negative 3 and s of n is given as 78 and we have to find out n so let us put in the formula in place of Sn, we can write a 78 is equal to n by 2 times 2a1 is 2 into 24 plus n minus 1 into d is negative 3. We can cross multiply this 2 here. So we get 156 is equal to n times 48 distribute minus 3 to n and minus 1. So we get negative 3n and a positive 3. So 156 is equal to n into bracket negative 3n and a positive 51. So 156 is equal to negative 3n square plus 51n. We'll be moving all the terms to the left hand side. So we get 3n square negative 51n plus 156 is equal to 0. This is a quadratic 
in terms of n. Let us take a 3 common to factorize an equation. First we have to see is there anything common. So 3 is common. We get n square minus 17n plus 52 is equal to 0. This implies by null factor law n square minus 17n plus 52 is equal to 0. I can split the middle term. So I can write n square 52 can be written as 13 times 4. So negative 13n negative 4n plus 52 equal to 0. With the first two terms n comes out common. So n minus 13 and negative 4 comes out from the last two terms and we are again left with n minus 13 which gives us n minus 4 times n minus 13 is equal to 0. Now we are getting two values of n. The first value of n is n is equal to 4 when we have put n minus 4 is 0 and the second value is n is equal to 13 when we put n minus 13 as 0. So it means that sum of 4 terms is also 78 and sum of 13 terms is also 78. So we need to explain the double answer here. Now when n is 4 we see that 24 plus 21 plus 18 plus 15. It gives us a 78. Correct. And when we take n is 13 we see that it is a decreasing series. So we will go to 24, 21, 18, 15, then 12, then we go to 9, 6, 3, 0, negative 3, negative 6, negative 9, negative 12, correct? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 and 13 term. And what happens here? Since it's a decreasing series, some of the terms are negative and they actually cancel out with the positive term. So 6 cancels out with minus 6, 9 goes off with minus 9, 3 goes off with minus 3 and 12 goes off with minus 12 and we are again left with the sum as 78. Okay, so you can get two values of n if the series is a decreasing series and both the values of n can give you the sum as 78. I hope this explanation of double answer is clear to everyone. Send me an email at kirti.mathacademy at gmail.com. This is my YouTube channel Math Academy. If you have liked my videos, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you.